Does it look busy? Where are they? Oh, there they are in the back. Oh my god, it looks so full. <laughs> Still packed. So we're here at the Bow Picker in Astoria, Oregon, and they're supposed to have the best fish and chips. It's made from albacore tuna, and it's lightly breaded, so I'm gonna try it out. Welcome to the Bow Picker, fish and chips. A whole order is $11, half order is nine bucks, side of fries is three, bottled water or a drink is a dollar, and this is a cash only place. Cash, cash only. What's that? What's cash? Thing? If it ain't plastic, it ain't right. I was unsure if it was bow picker, because that's how it's spelled, but it's actually bow, like the bow of the boats. Duct tape, it fixes everything. Mm-hmm. Except that. <laughs> <laughs> the bow is the front of the boat, and the stern is the rear. So right here are the order windows. That's where they take your order at, and then they give you your order at the stern. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the fleet of bow pickers in Astoria. Waterfront, and that was in 1960. So the cedar for them from, came from Port Orford and everything. Oh, cool. At least that's what they're called and everything. Wow. Well, I ended up ordering one full order. Yummy. Yummy in my tummy. I hope it's good. I'm kind of um, scared to try it because it's tuna. I'm not big on tuna, so unless it's in a tuna salad or something. But it is albacore. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be great. She did say it tasted like chicken, though. Yeah. But isn't tuna fish the chicken of the sea? Yes. Maybe yeah. that's why it tastes like chicken. It might. Oh. Just a fishy chicken. Oh. <laughs> a fishy chicken. <laughs> mm. And a chicken that probably won't wake you up in the morning going... Oh. <laughs> that's a rooster. Did you hear that oh. donkey? <laughs> <laughs> the last two nights when we were up Yes, there. the donkey was so loud. <laughs> we didn't hear... Sorry, we're sold out. Yeah, that's a good thing. I'm sure they had told us when we were placing our order. That would have killed me. Oh, I, that, we were, that they were out? Yeah. Yeah, they wouldn't have asked us to. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm too hungry right now. Yeah, but if we start, there's no way she'd make it by <laughs> Awesome. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Great. Want no loader? Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Oh, let me put some of this on. I want to see how it is. You never tried it before? No. Is it good? I like it. Well, I better leave some off just in case I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like sweet vinegar. Oh. Not real sweet. Here's the first time trying tuna fish and chips. Looks good though. Okay, so I'll let you know how it is. Oh, that's really good. That is, I think, the best fish and chips I've tasted. It's really good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's not all greasy and soggy. I know. What a pleasant no. surprise. No, that's the only kind of fish and chips we want. I know. I've seen it at one other restaurant that I was at, but I was unsure, so I didn't order it. It was more expensive than the regular fish and chips. Yeah, but really good? And they have huge fries. It does have the textured chicken, though. That's really good. <laughs> you wagging your tail already? Mumu nice. approved. She likes it as well. <laughs> so you even get the wag of the tail. It definitely has the texture of chicken. It's really, really good. It's like a fish nugget. Look at that. <laughs> and this is all they do is fish and chips. They don't have anything else, which is why it's probably so good. And the old warehouse was five by five. Four of us were five hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the old school steakhouse, they don't usually have five dollars. This was only five bucks. It's really cheap. It's really good. Nice. No wonder there's some popular. Yeah. Yeah. So they say that they use the tempura batter, right? So the batter is really light and crispy. It's, it's thin. It's not heavy at all. Oh, it's so good. 
So the fish was nice and tasty, light <laughs> batter. The fries were good. They just had the big wedge fries. All in all, it was a great experience. You definitely should come and try it. And the price was good. $11, you can't beat it for a full order. The pigeons are back. <laughs> There's the cleanup crew. <laughs> Walking through the woods with Terry. It is pretty. Love it. Oh, there's those small little pine cones that I saw on that one trail. Cedar cones. Oh, cedar cones. That's what they are. Okay. <clears throat> it is beautiful back here. I don't hear the river though. So how close is the river? On the maps, it didn't look that close. Actually, look, pretty. What are they? Uh, I don't see a cedar in here. Uh, maybe another pine yeah, cone, or maybe another tree makes those? It might be those. What's that? Well, you know, Oregon's a little different than Washington. Right. Yeah. More bearded moss. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, look, gosh. What? It's a cone. It's a what? Right a mushroom. Oh, yeah, I saw plenty yeah. of those on the other hikes and stuff. Look it. They get really big and then people uh, dry them and paint them. They're very woody. Oh, it doesn't look like we have a good trail. No. It just kind of stops. Look at all the mushrooms on that tree. Yeah. So we don't want to go that way. I think that's the way of the trail because I see an orange okay, flag. See. I do hear... I hear a creek. Yeah, I do hear the river now. I hear it. You know there's another path back here. Yeah, we can take that. I'm so happy to be back in the woods. She's so happy. This, oh, oh, to be back in the woods. Hey, what? come back here and show them. These are huckleberry. Yum. They make huckleberry jams out of these. They look poisonous. No, they are not. They're not poisonous. Believe me. Uh, I've eaten these all my life. Have you? Yes, they're so good. Trust me, Aj. I I'm know not my, eating them. I know my huckleberries. I, I promise you 100%. I know what huckleberries are. I've okay, if I die, you know what no. happened to me. I have eaten huckleberry like I've eaten blackberries. Oh, they are kind of tangy. They make huckleberry jam. It's really hard to find. It's tangy, though. Not the best. Yes, they are. Love Do they get sweeter? Oh, they're kind of tangy. They're good. Mm. Show oh, us the way, Moo Moo. Show us the way. Whoa. Something was just over there. I heard a noise. What? I heard something over there, like a uh, breaking of branches. Okay. Scott! Should we not go that way? No, no, no. This... Oh, shoot. Where are we? Moo Moo, come here. Well, the camper's right there. You see it? Yeah. You heard uh, something? Yeah, it was like a, a branch breaking, but like big branch. Okay, are you sure this is the way we gotta go? Yeah, that's the way we gotta go. Oh, crap. No, are you sure it's not this way? No, I promise you. Awesome. Hold on a sec. Hold... Okay. Great, you go first. <laughs> you know your way around a desert, I know my way around a forest. No, it, it maybe it was just, yeah, look, like, like that. that's gonna help Yeah. Anything. No, it was right over here at this trail. Okay, well, we gotta get out of here. It might have been a um, deer or something. Okay, let's go. <laughs> scary, scary. Watch for a deer tick out here, though, on uh, Moo Moo. And yeah, I always check her when I get back to the rig. Moo Moo, come on, go. 
I'll be behind. Go, go. I know. No, I literally, I heard, uh, it was a big stick that broke, and then I saw the shrubs move like that. <sighs> Good thing it wasn't a bear. Maybe they got scared by our voices. I know, I had blackberries earlier. Oh god, it's hard to get up there. More blackberries! Yummy. Oh. They're so good. That was so sweet. Mm. Oh my god. So the way you, you know that they're ripe. They're usually really soft. If you touch them, yeah. They're really soft. Yeah, this if one's... They're, if they're... If still. they've already turned black but they're still kind of firm, mm -hmm. they're kind of sour. This one's really... These are really Soft. good. Yeah. Yummy. Mm. Yum. Oh my god, that one was sandy. I heard like a limb break and then I saw the bushes move. And we thought it was you back there. Oh, yeah, I know. She called your name and you didn't answer. Call me names. She called your name, not. Call me. I'm sure she called you names plenty of times you before. Back there. <laughs> I don't know. We just, we left. Just right back here. Oh, is there a trail? I, I didn't look too hard. Yeah, there was a trail. Did you go down the river or something like that? Well, we were looking for the river, but we never found it. Well, it says something about anglers, so it must go to the river. Right. I don't know what. It might have been a deer or something. I don't know. Well, the deer ain't bad. No. The bear ain't good. No, bear is. But you had your camera. I did have my you camera. Have a bear on film. I know. Damn. Yeah, as it ate me. No thanks. <laughs> Terry's still eating blackberries. We found just something on the roadside and we we're thinking about camping here because we were going to head into Washington by route of the bridge, but it's very hilly over there and this is not as bad. So we decided to take the Oregon side and then head up once we get to five. I'm happy I got some blackberries. <laughs> it was like, where's my blackberry? No, you no blackberries for you, Moo I don't know if they're good for you. Oh my god. <laughs> Suckers! You're a butt. So he was throwing things back there while we were walking back there. I film way away from you. I can hear you way over there. I know but I I was like, okay now nah, I heard but I heard a crack that's weird. Like so like a stick was stepped on. Now I'm gonna be sore because now I've thrown three times now. Now my shoulder be like Oh, you paid for it. At least we know who the mischievous one is. Yeah, right there. <laughs> it's not a bear. <laughs> we came back in. Oh, look it. There's the huckleberry. What? Oh, yeah. The, the stump. Now that we find out it wasn't a bear or a deer, it was Scott throwing things. Oh, my God. You can't walk back here anyways. Look at the... Down trees. This path is not very good. Jump over the trees. In the forest, you have to climb over these. We'll get to climbing. How do you like the huckleberry? They're kind of like smaller, more sour blueberries. Yeah. But they do get a little sweeter. Are you patiently waiting, Mumu? Okay, go ahead. Go. Go. You can go. A lot of times you go out in the forest so and they're all, they, they're already gone and you maybe get one. The berries even? Yeah, one. Birds, everything. Mm -hmm. huh. Let me try some more. They're so good though. See, yeah, they're not like really bright red. They have like a melon color or pinky. What did you find, Mimo? Here, turn that on. <laughs> I hate when I get seeds caught in my teeth. <laughs> they have little seeds. <laughs> they have little ones. And usually you can only find like the jam like at little specialty shops. Right. And... It kind of reminds me of sweet and sour candy a little yeah. bit. Because they're tart. They're good. Mm. Yummy. I love them. The trees are pretty too. Did I say I love them? What? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> I said, if you get a little bit of a tummy ache, it's just the hallucinogenics in the, from the berries. Uh-huh. It's okay. <laughs> if your face goes numb. See, yeah, look at them all right here. Yum. If the side of my face droops down, we know what's <laughs> happened. <laughs> if you see trails and... I'm like, oh, look at the rainbow in the sky. Oh, there's like 10,000. Dancing like smurfs. The <laughs> with the blackberries. What? I wonder what it would taste like if we mix these with the blackberries. I've the huckleberries been... and blackberries? That yeah. probably would be nice. Maybe. Sweet and yeah. sour. Just in your mouth or in a pie? Or... Like a pie. Oh. Huckleberry pie. Huckleberry blueberry. Wait, blackberry pie. Chew, chew fly pie? Yeah, huckleberry and blueberry. All right, everybody. Well, we're going to try to camp here on the roadside and see what happens. Hopefully, we don't get disturbed. We shouldn't, though, because there isn't any signs. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me today. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward down. Love y'all. Bye for now.